Now, we had strong storms yesterday, even brought, unfortunately, one fatality towards Louisiana with all the damage that came out of it. Plus, we have strong storms for today and chances for tornadoes. Then we got another storm that's going to be moving in for the rest of this week, bringing more severe weather and major flooding. We already got a moderate level for Thursday already. Hey, everybody. Happy Tuesday to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest information on what's going on with these storm systems. We have very strong storms coming in, not only for earlier today, a second round coming back again for this afternoon. While we have all these storms brewing across to mid-Atlantic going towards the northeast, and we still got this big upper-level low right here, swirling around it did swirl over missouri yesterday and we actually had two tornado reports so i'm gonna show you all the latest information in this video if you've never been here before make sure you subscribe i am all year long matter of fact they already have a lookout for what's going into the eastern pacific my subscribers already knew about this weeks ago Hurricane season is starting to ramp up, so make sure you click that bell. Now, yesterday we had six tornado reports. We had two in Missouri, northern and southern. We had two for Louisiana, southwest Louisiana, and we had two go across for Florida. Even a water spout that came across. But then we got all this wind damage as well that came across, not just for the south. We also had it over here around Idaho. And this was some strong wind damage, all the way up to 80 miles per hour, just like I was showing you in the video. Very strong winds coming across, and we got more of that coming. And right now, it did hit hard with the power outages. Louisiana is almost at 70,000. Florida is still over 10,000 because all those snap poles, 400, almost 400 electricity poles were snapped in this county. So just be aware of that. That's why you still don't have power. It's almost like a hurricane came by and just tore up your county. And for Louisiana, if we refresh and see if it's gotten any better, a little bit better, 66,000, it will get better as you go through the day. You don't have any storms coming through for today. Now for today, you do have the wind threat in multiple areas. You can see the 5% everywhere, especially this 15% for Florida. Pay attention to this. You have strong winds coming by. Here's your cities and states at risk for the wind damage for today. Also the hail threat, almost Almost in the same exact areas, not as strong as a threat, but your tornado threat is stronger for today. You have the 2% going all the way up towards Kentucky because you have the upper level low. Plus, you have that 5% down here. From what I can see, this is going to be a strong transition as you go through this morning. But here's your cities and states at risk for the chances for tornadoes for today. National Weather Service has severe thunderstorms will be possible today over parts of central and northern Florida into extreme southern Georgia with damage and wind gusts and a tornado or two as the main threats. Isolated severe storms will also be possible across portions of the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys into the Carolina Piedmont as well as the Central Rockies, High Plains, and parts of western Texas. Now you have major storms pushing through for this morning. There's a lot of nasty hail cores in those I will show you. But as you go towards 10 and 11 o'clock, right here, you can see the banding pushing out over towards northwestern Florida. And this got some very strong high winds above it as this pushes in. You see the bowing out behind that? That signifies a lot of winds pushing behind that. And you can see this at your lower level. Winds that you have very strong winds building up behind that as that comes across for Florida, right in your 15% area, and this is strong winds. So far, showing anywhere from 10 to 11 o'clock, you can expect that banding to come across, bring you very powerful winds as that goes all the way across. Then you still got these storms brewing. You still got these storms brewing as you go through the afternoon. You can see how you get a little intense line, maybe a little squall line that pops up right there for Tennessee as that goes across all night long. And you get some strong cells starts brewing over here, isolated in nature, but for Kentucky, for Indiana, that don't mean that all those are gonna pop it into a tornado. While the rest of these storms come across the Carolinas, goes towards Northeast, it's just gonna be bringing y'all rainfall. But if you watch the lower level winds, you can see after today, you get some more winds pushing through for tomorrow because you still got that tornado threat for tomorrow. And you do got the nasty line of storms that's going to be pushing in as you go towards tomorrow morning for northern Florida. And it's going to keep pushing towards the south as the day goes along. Showing very powerful winds coming with that storm system. Bringing anywhere from 50, 60, even get up to 70 miles per hour wind gusts as that comes across Florida, be aware of that. So 
So for tomorrow, you do have chances for hail in multiple locations. You got chances for wind as well. This is all mild in nature. We also got a chance for tornadoes for Florida for what I just showed you for tomorrow morning. So here's your cities at risk for the chances for tornadoes. Be aware this will be early in the morning. Now, as all these storms push out, this is going to go out. And then we got our next storm system that is brewing up. And you can see it coming on in. You get just a little little trough right here, a little short wave trough. This is going to come through and bring your thunderstorms as you go through Wednesday. Then after that, you got another storm system that's brewing up. That's going to kick it in for Thursday as well. And maybe even move over a little bit and bring something for Friday for the rest of this week, but it is bringing a lot of flooding. So here you are on Thursday for your severe weather. You do have a 5% over here towards the central U.S. by Missouri going towards the valleys. We also have this 5% in the south, this 15% and the significant severe in the black. That is for chances for very large hail, at least two inches in diameter. Here's your cities and states at risk for the severe weather for Thursday. And they have it for strong updrafts, chances for large to very large hail. Also, a quick upscale growth that could happen with this system. So here it is as you go into Friday. You already got a 15% risk for that system as that pushes across. Here's your cities and states at risk so far. Now, I want you to take a look at this. For today, we have our chances for flash flooding. We do got the marginal going all the way up towards Ohio Valley, all the way to the Mid-Atlantic. We do have a slight risk for southern Georgia going into northern Florida for these thunderstorms that's going to be passing by, bringing you the chances for the flooding. Now, as we go into tomorrow, this is going to lighten up. We do have the next storm system starting to come in. You do have a marginal going on. But as you go into Thursday, it's going to come right back, and you already have a moderate section for flooding. I know Texas don't want to hear this. I know y'all's in the drought, and you were praying for rain, and now it's too much rain. you got a lot of flooding going on. This is for Texas going into Louisiana. You have a big slight risk and you have a moderate level risk. Slight risk going all the way up towards Arkansas, all the way into Mississippi. You can see this here, all the way to Western Alabama. Big slight risk going all the way into Louisiana. But now you got this big moderate level risk for flash flooding. And this is for Thursday. So we already have a day three moderate level risk for flash flooding. So just be aware of this. This is going to cause big problems in your area. Then after that, it will move over and it will be in a slight risk all over again. We do have the marginal up here for the Tennessee and Ohio valleys, but down here in the south, you will be in a slight risk once again for flash flooding as you go through Friday. Bringing anywhere from two to three inches coming in for Texas is all going to be isolated where the heaviest will be. But look how it gets heavier and heavier as it comes across the southeast. So I think that moderate level or at least that slight risk will continue as you come across. Bringing a lot of heavier rainfall going all the way up to the Carolinas. And over here for the Tennessee and Ohio valleys, y'all have a little marginal, but that could raise up as well. It used to look like one to two inches of rainfall coming for y'all as well. A lot of heavy flooding, especially showing northern Florida. That's showing anywhere from 7 to 10 inches. This will vary, but that's pretty concerning. Plus, that tropical wave y'all been knowing about for weeks, they do have a lookout for it now in the eastern Pacific, and it has 30% chance. This is going to be weak according to what the trend is as it moves along. GFS is still taking something strong, but it don't matter. It's not affecting anybody. This will weaken down as it goes across. No threat to Hawaii or anyone so far. Still showing it will eventually strengthen up and not even showing towards Mexico anymore. It's just going straight out. So as the storm system comes across, and you can see the low pressure swirling around, so maybe make sure you keep aware of those cells passing by. They will be quick movers. As that goes offshore for Wednesday, then Thursday, we have our next storm system coming in, bringing that tail whip of severe weather. Then we have the next one after that that's going to carry us into the weekend, and that's the one that's bringing that heavy flooding for Friday and as it moves across the southeast. So we do need to watch out for that as well. So here we are this morning. Let's get the outlook of what's going on with the storms. And this is your chances for your tornadoes. All this white is the 2%, but you have the brown for the 5% for northern Florida. But you see, as you go through this afternoon, you're starting to get some cells that swirls around, isolated in nature, but a little bit everywhere for Tennessee and Kentucky, even a little bit for southern Indiana and over here for Alabama, a little bit for Georgia. See, they're all isolated in nature, but you got to watch out because that could easily spin up a quick spin up. Now, these will be quick 
spin-ups. They would dissolve very quickly as well, but they could cause damage as you go on towards 5 o'clock. You see how it's all isolated, but it's all over the place as you go through the evening, showing maybe some isolated cells could pop up and become multiple issues in multiple areas but once again it will be a quick spin up now down here for florida you're showing the worst chance for something to happen for today you have nice strong hail cores coming across chances for tornadoes and you get chances for those damage and winds as we go through for this morning and as you can see as you go through tomorrow morning this is where it's going to come through again all the way from cedar key all the way towards jacksonville and that's going to keep going further south as you go through the morning for tomorrow still got hail cores going all the way across so you do got to watch out for the chances for tornadoes as you go through for tomorrow and you see you do have your area right here of convection chances for the tornadoes then it dissipates once it gets out of that range so all the way from cedar key all the way towards tampa all the way from palm bay daytona beach You'll need to be aware of chances for tornadoes as those comes across. I think they could strengthen as it comes across the Gulf. You can see that chance for large hail right there. And it could be a water spout potentially turning into a tornado. Thank you for your time, everybody. I hope this helps you understand what is happening with the next day or so before we get this next storm system coming through. If you know someone in these impacts, especially what's happening for Florida for today with those strong winds aloft, chances for some very strong storms coming through, please share this information to them. Let them know what is happening so they can be prepared. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Now, before you go today, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 11 and 12. Wherefore, also we pray always for you, that our God would count you worthy of this calling, and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness, and the work of faith with power, that the name of our Lord Jesus Christ may be glorified in you, and ye in him, according to the grace of our God and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great day, everybody. Beware, we have a lot of heat that's going to start moving in for this weekend. I will keep you updated on that as well. Remember, all glory always goes to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe. If you never trusted him before, I pray you do pray to him because he will change your life and it will be for the better. He will save you and your whole family. Give all glory to God and forever. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody, and be careful.